intelligent and you've applied all this in the last three days. Can you make some noise? Okay, I am a young lawyer from Nigeria, but I'm not going to speak law. I'm speaking youth. And I got my sister here all the way from Morocco, Karima. We have a good news for you all the way from Africa. Dear delegates, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've been asked about our commitment to youth policy in Baku. Let me tell you that we started our commitment even before coming to Baku. Delegates from uh, Africa gathered, discussed all the themes that we've been discussing these three days, and we came out on a strategic uh, document uh, about uh, our actions that we will do when we go back to Baku. Therefore, we created the network of African youth policy practitioners. This network. This network is going to uh, federate efforts of uh, youth-led uh, organizations and platforms working on youth policies. We have already discussed with some of the platforms in the region here, working on youth policies to work with them. We have done serious work. We have restless nights of discussion. We have already done situation analysis and checklists and indicators of 10 African countries who are committed to continue. And we, are, we launch a call from here to join us to continue this work after Baku. Friends of Africa and Africans, that was just a tease of the iceberg. <laughs> if you want to join us to have the cake and put icing on the cake, please join us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. I, uh, I've never been a fan, in fact, I mean, of uh, being so passive, asking others to do things for us. And we have responsibilities, I 